G'day legends, it's uh, Lee from Skulldrag Industries and heading out on North Pine Dam uh, today, as you can see, uh, do have a little bit of moisture around, so uh, it's going to be quite interesting. So today we're going to head out, it's been raining most of the day, dam uh, levels have risen a little bit during the day I, I dare say, so look we're going to be heading out just to see whether or not this, uh, this rain has any effect on the bite and uh, see if we can't find ourselves a fish or two. So, uh, you're going to need to wish us luck. We're going to chuck a, a bit of rain gear on and uh, we're going to get out there amongst it and hopefully some of the other boys, the weather won't scare them off too much and they'll be out a little bit later. So today, because of the overcast conditions, we're going to start off with a few uh, uh, darker coloured lures and see whether or not they're on the white with those, so your purples, that sort of colour. So anything a deep diver, six metres plus, I'm just going to drag those around for a little bit and see how the fish. I'm already starting to see bait fish on the top here, so could be a good indication that there might be some fish around. Um, plenty of bird life, uh, so they're obviously enjoying a nice cool day out here. Obviously it's been pretty hot lately and <laughs> pretty pretty stinky in terms of the uh, humidity, so uh, I guess it's a refreshing change for them, but they're all out hunting at the moment, so uh, let's go see if we can find some of these guys. So obviously dehydration is not going to be an issue out here today, but it's still a good thing to be carrying some water. Not that you can't drink this water, because you probably already do, uh, coming straight out of the dam. But look, uh, you'll notice that I am wearing obviously uh, uh, a little bit of rain protection in terms of um, in terms of a, uh, a windbreaker, and that it can be because once you get damp, if you do get a little bit of wind later, it could actually make it quite quite cool out on the water. So. Uh, just in the meantime, before we throw that on, if it gets too hot, we'll have to peel that off. But again, it's actually not too bad at the moment, relatively comfortable. So, with a bit of luck, we'll go find ourselves out there and see if we can find a fish or two. And we are on already. Admittedly, I haven't got the drive done up real tight on this one. I'm just starting to pull them out. He's digging. We've got bait scattering everywhere on the surface here. So, as this fish comes up, there's the bait close to the top. Obviously, we're seeing this big bass come up. We're not really impressed with that. Oh, this is a beauty. An absolute stalker. Oh, we're there, baby. Oh, ho, 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 ho. We're looking at a 50 contender straight off the bat. This is going to be real interesting to see today if this is the quality of fish that we're actually going to be finding out here. Have a go at that. So that's the kind of fish you want to see coming straight off on your first bite. No one is going to be an absolute stellar afternoon even though it is a little bit wet. We've got quite a few fish marking up down here. Again, taking on a little sharp point. Again, just not, not really all that fast, going around about that three to four kilometre an hour. And he's absolutely come through and crunched that, uh, that one. So let's get the hooks out of him and check him. So when your first fish of the day is a little beauty like that, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good day. So we're going to chuck this guy in the old skull drag here in the Overlord and have a bit of a look. See how it goes. So have a look at that. And got there, so yeah, just nudging the 50, just probably 50 and a half, so not a bad fish to start with. So uh, we'll release this big girl and see if we can find ourselves some more. Two things like that on your sounder, you can see you've got fish holding here, here and here, and here's bait not far from the surface, around about under five meters. So the fish are there, they're holding, and they're certainly there looking at bait. So uh, even though the weather conditions are a little bit average, hopefully the fish are going to be around and that people is a damn good So whilst the temperature is obviously dropping down a little bit out here, the actual water temperature is still around about 26 degrees, so the sounder tells me. So 26 degrees is still pretty warm. So obviously the fish are all fired up. There's bait everywhere on the surface, um, absolutely everywhere. So uh, not sure whether or not a surface bite will be the game for me later, but it doesn't seem to be anything harassing them. So uh, we'll keep an eye on the sounder. We'll do a bit of deep trolling first, and as the day wears on, maybe the surface bite will come on. But we'll see how we go. If uh, we're catching 50s down deep, that we'll get to the surface bite. Oh, and a massive hit! Absolutely. As we started to slow down, then I was just playing around with another rod and uh, a video camera. And absolutely smash that as it started to slow down. So that was coming off of about six, seven metres of water. So again, quite quite aggressive, aggressive fish in this particular area here. And this is where we've got the fish. This is another good fish. I feel all those head shakes going on there now. Starting to get closer. Oh, did you love to see that? Got his head down on that one. And again he goes. Now I've got a fair bit of drag running there. So 
this is going to be another good fish as we bring him up. Let's have a bit of a look. Might loosen that drag off just a touch. Look at the size of this thing. Absolute stonker. Let's get him in the net. We'll have a bit of a look. Come on in, son. Great size fish. Absolutely smashed that too. You can see again on that purple. I was just about thinking maybe it's time we change that for another fish here. Look at the sounder arcing up everywhere. That is just diabolical. There's fish everywhere here. So again, eight meters of water. This is the spot we need to be on. So let's get the hooks out of you, mate. And we'll get into a couple more. Oh. Using the uh, overlord as a bit of a release aid. You can see getting swimming. <laughs> And that's what they do all the time. They turn around and they go straight back in. They don't want to go there. Come on, mate. Time for you to go home, bud. You see, they always want to swim with their head down in these particular types of nets. So that's what makes them good. Come on, bud. There you go. It's kind of funny. When you get a day like this, I mean, it's only about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the conditions like they are at the moment. Um, it throws the whole game out. It's a completely different dam when you come out here. Uh, where you would be expecting the fish, probably not so much. Uh, you'd be expecting them close to the edge. He's not seeing that at the moment. Actually seeing the arcs in the middle of the dam. Um, just been around the hump in the middle. That's where we normally find these guys are hanging around about this time of the day. Nah, no, not seeing one at all. No sounds, no marks at all. So I'm going to head back to where we got that 50. We're going to have a go up and down that stretch and see if we can sound out a few more of those girls and hopefully there's some big girls amongst them. But uh, yeah, completely different, uh, which is just quite an interesting thing. Obviously it's been raining all day, so the fish are had a chance to uh, get used to that I suppose and obviously they're not afraid of getting wet but the whole thing is, is that we've had a really overcast day and the bait's all on the top so they've probably been feeding most of the day so it'd be quite interesting to see whether or not the big girls are around and if they're hungry. And we're on. Interesting take that one. Just a bit of a heavy weight. Not necessarily too dramatic. A bit of a real easy take actually. So, oh, I'm starting to feel like there's a bit of weight there now. Although he's not that big, I don't think. Coming up. Oh, starting to go crook now. I started to realise he doesn't want to come to the boat. Oh, buddy. And again, that is a decent sized fish. Look at that. That's a good 40, 40 centimeter bass. Not a bad sized bass, and quite a few sitting under us at the moment. You can see on the sounder in the background, you can see those arcs, there's quite a lot. Interesting to see that they're holed up over this side. Again, again you can see that, uh, that nice fat bodied lure with a deep deep uh, rattle and that's what these guys are loving so looks a lot like uh, probably not purple but looks a lot like the, uh, the bony broom and stuff that they get out here these guys would be absolutely loving feeding on so fantastic looking fish and he's got a lot of mates on the sounder there in the background so we might just let this guy go So as you can see, weather conditions have improved quite dramatically from uh, earlier on when we first started out. So uh, it's just an interesting phenomenon to see that fishing, when there is a bit of rain around, actually can uh, make a big difference to the actual bite, especially for our freshwater fish. So again, we're starting to still seeing a lot of uh, a lot of bait on the top of the water, and and hopefully it's going to uh, going to fire up as the uh, evening wears on. Um, but at the moment. We've actually found that the bigger fish today actually came earlier on the day when we had the rainy conditions. Um, we were fishing roughly the same water depths, the same areas, and um, only finding that those bigger fish came earlier when we had um, quite a fair bit of rain falling. So it's a very interesting phenomenon to have a look at, so don't be afraid to actually get out there when it's raining and go for a fish. Obviously, um, fish to your conditions, make sure that it's not dangerous out there and that you do have company with you. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a spot of trouble. Always remember where you PFD and be safe out on the dams. Away from the shallow water. See if we can't wrestle it. Got to tow them out nice and steady and keep weight on them. 
So with two fish on like that, it's obviously very interesting. So obviously a school of some description that we've come across and we've hit them. And uh, it's got quite a bit of weight. Uh, possibly yellows the way around. <laughs> okay. We're going to wait and see. This one's, look at this one going. Holy crap. Let's just pull in line like there's no tomorrow. Oh, this one's come towards the boat. Man, they're getting tricky. Right. Gotta try and sort this out pretty quick, I think. Um, guy on the other one here. He looks like he might be pretty decent too. Alright. It's gonna get real interesting here in a minute, I think. Oh, great. Now both these guys are tangled up. Oh. Got a bounce on this one. And he's on the other side of that line. Oh man, oh, get him in there. Don't try and get you both of each other. This one around this side. There's a bit of pandemonium for you. There's a nice bass on the top. Hopefully we'll keep it going and make sure we've still got weight on the other one on the other one. Let's get this one in. Chuck you in there. And then put you in there with your head down, buddy. So you can swim and breathe. Go overlord. And one over here still on. So you've got to love a good double hookup when it happens. So got a fair bit of line out. This guy. Oh, and he's not done yet, considering we've actually just we've actually just uh, you know gone a fair way while this guy and he is still pulling string. Starting to come up there now. Oh, and still going. Look at him. <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it when that happens. And man, oh man, it's actually. This is a good fish. And he's going again. He's definitely not ready to come up yet. Here we go. Here's the leader. Oh, guess what? Uh, of course, it couldn't be anything else. But what are those slimy looking things? And there's a cat. oh, catfish. And of course, the problem with any catfish is going to be the spines on it, as you can see. And the silicon net doesn't protect you from spines, that's the thing. Whereas the old Overlord has got quite a bit of protection there to make sure that you don't end up with one of those. Um, one of those spikes in you, but uh, these guys here, if you can grab them before they get spikes into anything, generally you can get the hooks out okay, but uh, once those spikes go in, man did he put put up a bit of a fight too. Uh, Alright, you can see just set, head down in there, and uh, what a massive bass. So thanks very much guys for joining us and we hope you've enjoyed our little fishing session today even though it was a little bit wet to start with. Got a few nice fish, managed the 50 which is always nice. So uh, yeah, great trip out. So hopefully you guys picked up a little bit of uh, information on how to fish, uh, especially when there's a little bit of weather around. Don't be afraid of the weather as long as it's not dangerous, get out there, get amongst it, catch yourself a few fish. We'll see you guys next time on the water.